Hello again, Rebecca here. Welcome back to my channel. Today we are doing the last layout for my stash made kit. And those again are the collections that I had used. Those are the pictures that I have chose and I pulled all of the scraps that I had previously used and I'm gonna use that piece of cardstock as my background. Now, as I said in previous, um, videos. I didn't even put a dent in this stash, but with the current state of affairs, we have not really went out and done any kind of really summer stuff. So I am going to go ahead and keep this all together in a beautiful Ziploc bag. And once I have some pictures that I think, you know, will do this, these three collections justice, I'm going to go ahead and use it again as a stash made kit. So like I said, just kept it all together. I really liked it. I love the papers. I love everything about it. I just, just couldn't make it work. So what I'm doing here is I'm going to trim down the paper and I believe I go one inch by two inch. And I'm going to make little bitty one inch by two inch strips. And I seen this layout over on Mora's O'Reilly's page. Um, she didn't quite do it the way that the sketch had, but she had showed the sketch and I loved it. So it was part of her, um, thousand subscriber video. Uh, go ahead and check that out. Absolutely love her videos. So, was it her or was it Scrappy Kathy? Could have been Scrappy Kathy, I believe. I was wrong. Was not Mora. It was Scrappy Kathy celebrating Mora's thousand subscri subscriber giveaway. So I'm gonna put this band of paper right here. As Janet over on RTS would say, we are, this would technically be what a happy horizontal turned vertical. <laughs> I've been watching the RTS videos. She is also on Patreon. So yay. Anyway, back to what I was doing here. This is my Grammy and Grampy and me. <laughs> and they used to like to take drives back in the eighties, nineties, and well, forever. Um, so I am just going to go ahead and layer them a little wonky onto each other. And I'm going to flip it over and I'm going to grab my cute little close to my heart um, tape dispenser, wash tape dispenser. Absolutely love it. You can pick that up over on the close to my heart website or you could probably just use any old tape dispenser. I just do that because I move those pictures around a lot. So when I adhere them together, I just, if I get them where I like them, I go ahead and put the washi tape down. Now I'm gonna take these and I'm going to do a band across the layout. And I'm just trying to figure out how I kind of get a little bit of an idea. And then I'm gonna turn the page and I'm gonna grab my handy dandy T-square ruler. Yes, I am. I'm gonna go ahead and draw a line uh, with a pencil. I mean, could have used a pen. I could have used a marker because I'm going to cover it up, but that is just my center point for where I want to, because I don't want them to be straight. I want them to be all, you know, at different levels and angles and areas. Um, I am going to pop some up on some foam and I'm going to actually leave all of the one that I have right there. Those will all be um, flat to the page and the rest of them are all going to get some foam adhesive on there. So I'm just kind of flip those over and I do not make you watch me do this. I do, however, put four dots of the foam adhesive on each piece. Eventually, I will break away. Lord, I hope so, because I did not have fun doing this, and I imagine that you would not have fun watching all of this. So I'm going to put them up there, and I'm just going to keep going. <laughs> there we go. All right. I also went ahead and took all of the backing tape off of them. And then I'm just gonna grab some of these, I guess that's coral and white stripe. And I thought I was gonna start there, but then I decided, you know what? We're just gonna go right in the middle. 
and I'm just kind of looking at where I want my pictures and then I'm going to go for it. And then I'm going to take and I'm going to do, I'm going to alternate. And some of them, see, and then I was like, whoa, too close. And I'm going to make them like not up and down straight. I am going to just make them fun and, you know, like a broken down fence. And because the alternating ones are popped up on foam directly in the middle, I can just slide those anywhere I want right underneath there. I absolutely think, and all of, like I said, none of these were all from different collections. And I think the colors match really good. So it's just kind of like a wonky little fence here. Kind of like Bob Ross. A little, a little tree in the background. Sorry. So we're going to keep going. I had that one little piece of scrap left. And so it's that one that I put there on the right hand side with the circles. Yeah, I went ahead and used it because we're also going to use that little bitty piece like that. So... Now that one I am going to, I will put, end up putting another piece over there, I believe. I think I move him over. Maybe not, maybe not. I did save all of the pieces. I stuck them on some wax paper there. And I'm going to get that adhered down now. I look at it again, and I'm pretty sure that I can get the picture of me and my grandpa slid up underneath some of them, which is what I do. And I do like the placement of that, so I'm going to flip it over and I'm going to stick some ATG all the way down. And yes, it is going to do a little bit of a roll, but it's okay because I really like it. I just, I like the way it ended up. Although looking at it now, I probably should have moved it just a smidge of widget to the right so that there was a little bit more of that paper bordering the picture of me and my grandpa on the left hand side but it's okay it's okay it's done I'm not going to go back and redo anything I do not do that much embellishing um here lately I have actually just been doing real simple embellishing on the pages just kind of letting the background and all the papers take center stage with the pictures there instead of doing lots and lots of embellishment I'm tapping my fingers because I'm thinking I have this one strip left. Um, it's Jolene's Boutique. I found that at the Dollar Tree. I was super excited because I used it up. But I was also super excited because it's only a dollar. Now I'm going to just do this as a little bit of a divider. My messy bun hair is going to get in the way there. I'm going to get that here done. I'm going to clip that off at the top. And then I'm just a bit shy. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to think about it. And I'm, I was at first thinking I was going to leave it at the, end, the bottom. And I wouldn't connect it there. And I would put... Oh, excuse me. Tired girl. See, thinking I'm going to do that. Okay, that looks horrible. And I just like, just keep playing with it. And I keep looking at it and keep really trying to get it stuck down. And then I'm like, no, that looks awful. So I'm going to go ahead and pull that up. And I'm going to stick it back over on a little wax paper. And I'm going to look for something else that I can use. Oh, look at that. A doily. So I'm like, hmm. I put this up here. And I was like, no. So I'm going to peel that back up, stick it on my hand. Otherwise, I'll lose it. You guys do that? You, like, pull something up. And I'm really going to try to get this. So I'm, like, popping all those up because I'm like, this doily is going to go here. It's going here. It's going to go up here, too. But then I'm like, you know what? I, I just don't even want... I can just pop these up. <laughs> That's what I do. So I start ripping all those up. Not really ripping, just peeling the adhesive off. And then just keep going. And like a silly, silly little monkey that I am, I should have put adhesive on it before I did that, right? No, I didn't. So I'm going to pull it back out. I'm going to put the adhesive on it. And then I'm going to try to shove that sucker back up underneath there. Oh, no, I lie. I'm not going to pull it back on. I'm just going to try to get the adhesive underneath there. But that's how I'm going to create the illusion that that, sh that silver sticker goes all the way up. And then I'm going to grab my liquid adhesive, which is my um, 
art glitter glue in my fine liner bottle. And I'm gonna get that all stuck down and I am really just gonna shove it up underneath the rest of those papers because it's going there whether it wants to or not. And I am gonna actually, that's gonna serve as one of my cluster bases. Now this truck right here says ice cream. We can pretend I got ice cream that day, but you know, I don't really know. That was cute and I wanted to use it. Now it is chipboard, but I learned on some other layouts that I used the chipboard on that when I picked it up, all of it fell right off a day later. So we're gonna go ahead and add an extra adhesive on these. And there is this little ice cream cone because I used an ice cream truck and it says, why not? And why not, right? Got an ice cream truck, might as well put an ice cream cone on there. We were at the ferry on the river, the Mississippi, Mississippi River. Yeah. I'm gonna pop that up on some fun foam and I'm not real sure where that's gonna land. If I had to be a betting woman, I would say right at the corner of the pictures. So apparently that's where I would put it even today. Now, because we are on the river and I don't have a lot of layouts that I can put a girl in a sailor dress, I did. She matches the background, it's fine. The truck is gonna run her over anyway, so what does it matter? <laughs> but I do look at this sheet that I got here from Tuesday morning. And I think it says somewhere with, I don't know. Let's go somewhere and get lost. That, that kind of was, you know, a lot with my grandparents. I am going to go ahead and take these three wood veneer flowers. Since for July, wood veneer was my product focus. And I pretty much forgot to use it on 90% of my layouts. Hence why I have to make product focuses, people. Because if it's not sitting right in front of me, even if it is, to be honest, it's sitting right in front of me to the left and I just I just forget I, don't, I was just looking at it just now straight in the little label on it that says wood yep so I get those all glued down I'm gonna look at these the sticker sheet that I have and I did use some of this but to be fair when I started the sheet looked like this so I'm just going to grab some stickers that I think will work and then I'm going to make work and I stick them on my hand. I don't know if you guys do that or not. I use my hand as a, <laughs> as an inventory area. Here lately I've been playing with some mixed media. So those that will all be coming up. Uh, I did not film the mixed media. I was literally just playing because I'm not that good at it yet and I'm trying to practice. But the, the base papers that I, I'm trying to use, um, you know, <laughs> those will be backgrounds for upcoming layouts. That's super excited within my series that I have going on. And let me get that, you know, you guys, let me know what you think of the series that I have so far. What do you think of this stash made kit where I just grabbed old and new and tried to get it used up? What are we doing here? Oh, I put that little escape on there. Because this really was how they, res they escaped from reality. And they're, they're, you know, they both worked for the state of Illinois their entire working lives. So they just took little travel weekends. They were gone. We got to go with them a lot. I'm going to take my homemade huh, black splatter. And I'm going to get that sprinkled around the page in just a couple areas. And then I'm going to go ahead and take my homemade gold glitter shimmer splatters and I'm gonna splatter that all around the page um the black does not have any shimmer in it it is literally just black acrylic paint with water and rubbing alcohol this is got some um pearl x's in it some powder so give me a thumbs up if you like the video